This is the Creativity Show. I'm Claire Cooley. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to continuing with the art of stenciling and we're going to do something different and hopefully you're really going to enjoy. I'm going to take these four gold uh, orchid stencils I pre-painted and I'm going to use metallic inks and colored pencils to um, do a little painterly, unique, fine art, one of a kind to each one of them, showing you that you can take an, a stencil and use it basically as a template to do uh, individual, one of a kind, art with it so we're going to do that let me show you this outfit i did yesterday with the seahorses it's the water theme and the sea turtles at the border of the pants to go with this shell jewelry i made um so i like i like to go with the theme so this theme was water so the shell belt necklace and earrings and the seahorse and sea turtle i zoom in on it a little bit sure there you go so we have the little sea turtles at the bottom and we have the seahorses at the top and it may be that I do what I often do, which is step back. I painted these yesterday and see if I want to add some a little little touches of color with these metallic inks or acrylic paints. Um, we'll see. I often just give myself permission to step back and get some perspective and see if I want to do more or if it feels done. So it may be that little touches of pinks and blues and such will will delight it up. So we'll see. Yeah, I just started recording on this camera. So just give a brief intro for the long form video of what your outfit is. OK, this outfit's theme is C. Uh, so the, the belt, necklace, earrings that I made out of shells, and so the theme of the sea turtles at the bottom and the seahorses at the top. So it's all a sea theme. So there we go. Great. Now, do you want me to redo this? Uh, sure, just, yeah. This is a. This is going to be hand done to make it more painterly. Each one of these gold orchids that I uh, pre-painted on here from my orchid stencil is going to be finished in a different way. So you can see how easy it is to make stencils painterly, fine art, unique, and have fun doing it. So we're going to use uh, pencils, colored pencils, and metallic inks to do that. So, are we ready, Mr. Techie? Just about. So, he's going to do a couple things I'm in ready. the. There's Bodie, the movie maker, his YouTube channel. Our channel is The Creativity Show. All of these virtual visits go up on The Creativity Show. Uh, after we're done and and he puts out other videos all the time longs and shorts of my work of his work um michael with, said looking awesome claire hey michael thank you michael i appreciate that i enjoy um expressing my creativity through my through my fashion through my style i enjoy taking in my case, they're all from uh, used stores or donations. When I used to work in uh, mental health facilities and drug rehab facilities and juvenile halls, trying to help people use their own imaginations, express their creativity to heal themselves and have more peace in their life, 
Uh, a lot of people on uh, or organizations, uh, Goodwills and such, used stores, would donate clothes to me because I would use them with my uh, clients for my creativity coaching. So I have a lot of beautiful, um, <laughs> some of them have the fancy department store labels in them, but none of them did I pay full price for. Uh, most of them were donated or incredibly reasonably priced. So it's really fun for me to make a different outfit for each of these virtual visits. That's a fun part for me. And it shows what you can do with stencils and how easily you can make something that could be ordinary. Um, certainly many other people might have one like it if you buy it new. Um, and you can make it completely unique art to wear by using the stencils and making it your own and have the fun, fast and frugal way of making fabulous fashion. I like alliteration, as you can tell. So are, are we ready um, to, to uh, detail these? And if so, I have to go to the cabinet to get some tools out. So do you want to come out and do that? Show that or? Shall I go off camera for a moment? We are Mother Son Productions. He named us. He asked me to work with him. And so we're a two person production studio. So. Well, maybe a second All right. Okay. So this is what I like to call the, the true entertainment, our own, inter our own imaginations. So I'm going to get out the colored pencils and show you that I love color. Who doesn't love color? Everybody loves color. Well, I don't know about everybody, but everybody should. <laughs> color is happy making. So we're going to do some with pencils. Would you get out the, oh, that's all right. I'll get it. The, the inks. So then we have the inks, the metallic inks. And these things, uh, you can tell them about the links to see these things. We'll have to put up the metallic ink link. <laughs> Did you like that? I'm not mic'd up. Oh, okay. So there are links in the description of the YouTube video, of the YouTube video that will take you to the, the products um, that I'm showing we if you use those links to get there great for us great it makes it easier for you yeah we're streaming on youtube facebook and a bunch of other places but the affiliate links for all of these materials are in the description of the youtube live stream mr Texpertise. uh we have very different skill sets, Bodhi and I. I'm a hands-on uh, constructionist type of creative generalist, and he's everything technology. So we work together and uh, fill each other's skill set out by having different skill sets, which is a great is a great thing to do um, with who we team up with. It's, it's best to have people that are smarter than you at different things. And then the team gets more well-rounded. So we're going to pick some colors. Is this the right spot? Let's start with this guy. And let's start with I'm going to get my magnifying glasses on for this part. So what I'm going to do with this pretty pink is just go outside these orchid buds 
and I'm going to sharpen this. We want to have nice lines. I love minimalism, simplicity. I find it very elegant, soothing, uh, comforting. You know, there's so much news, advertisements, uh, so much coming at us all the time that I think that's part of the reason that I've always been attracted to minimalism in, in art and in life, actually. To simplify, I think, is um, not only lovely and serene, but it also is, in, in my opinion, some of the, the greatest art artists are, are simple distillers of the subject. Should we see how simple this is to just trace these gold orchids with this pink and it gives them a very different feel than just plain gold. Yeah, we're not getting a big view of that. It's pretty that is pretty subtle what you're doing. So let's maybe zoom it in right on that one. See if let's do that. Mr. Cameraman is adjusting me so you can see what I'm doing better. How's that? Can that you That is uh, that's that, better, yeah. Can do you want to get the camera closer? Hmm. So we have the ca this uh, phone camera on a C stand that we can adjust. So hopefully you can actually see this. How'd that go? That helps. Now it's filling in that portion of the screen so you can see it on your laptop. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to get. I'm going to get four different greens out and see which ones I want to use where. Since we have four different orchids, we're going to try four different treatments. So let's do the stem with this green. Is that working? So this is one way that we can make these stencils uh, more painterly, have more fun expressing our imaginations, our creative choices. By picking the colors to outline them. If we use more viscous, more watery paint, that doesn't have an edge like this thick metallic gold does, um, we can go into the gold body, which we can still do, and we'll show you some of that, to color over the gold so, you know, we can add more than just an outline. We can actually color 
the shapes if we choose. And I like to, um, well, I like to be uh, subtle in the changes instead of hasty and regret. I like to move it gently forward not hastily and then it's also very meditative stepping into the creative flow medically documented increases our happiness and i have always um since my very first memories, my first creativity was dance because I didn't need anything else but my imagination. And so I did that. I had seal dances and rainbow dances and wind dances and anything and everything from nature that inspires me to this day. So I had all kinds of creature and different times of day and weather and light, moon, sun, fog, and all of them inspired different sorts of movements. My very first performance in my life um, I was probably, you know, four, maybe five. I'm going to give this a little, little more on the pink. Um, and my mother invited a couple adult friends of hers that were very sweet, gentle people and asked me if I would do my, a, a dance performance for them. So I did the seed dance performance at probably four and a half. And uh, they sat sweetly on the couch and I came out and laid in a little seed shape on the floor. And the entire dance was me unfolding from the seed shape into a full bloom flower by simply unfolding and standing up and stretching my arms up to the heavens and uh, they were very very sweet but I did not share my my dance my art my creativity with anyone that I didn't feel totally safe with so my mother and a few of her friends are the only ones that saw it and I think um, my instincts told me protect your sensitive, vulnerable spirit uh, expressed through creativity. That's what we have to tap into to find our creative expressions. And so be careful not to let other people um, throw jealous stones at it and people who are not happy and unfortunately there's a lot of them so that's enough for that one we'll try to um, uh, they do, it, it's painful for them to see their unhappy reflection in in the expressions and Let's see if I can get this. There we go. In front of the camera of others. So they will try. Let's do this one. So we're making even this experiment on different ways we can finish these a piece of art itself. So now we're going to go for this darker green. So I've been very careful and I still am even though now I'm putting this out basically to the world, I'm still very careful what I take in. And fortunately, um, 
I, I, I hesitate to say this so that I don't invite the first critical mean things to be said. I haven't, I haven't heard anything but uh, lovely things, and I greatly appreciate that. And if and when I do hear things that aren't lovely, which I have in my life, um, just let it pass by. If it bothers anyone, let it bother them that it doesn't bother you, is what I say, because I only mean to share the beauty I see in nature. My only intention is to be a champion for nature, so we are inspired to live aware, increase our awareness of living in harmony with nature for everyone's benefit. Be a champion for nature that doesn't have its own voice in words, but um, we do live in this world that uh, we affect. And pretty much everyone now, though there are a few holdouts who still, even though the first woman scientist in the 1800s to talk about the effect humanity was having on climate, there are some climate deniers. Fortunately, they're the very few now because there is so much evidence and proof, but still it's not a big percentage of people that are changing their behaviors to adjust to it. Um, we're a social experiment in, in not driving uh, for nearly four years now, not getting in gas or driven uh, powered vehicles or even electricity comes from, it has to be, the batteries have to be charged. So I've been very delighted to find out through the social distancing experiment that I can stay happy and inspired without driving places and tiptoe my carbon footprint I'm not a purist like we shouldn't use fossil fuels, but just um, as little as possible. All right, I'm going to go for a purple, but I think I want a, a brighter purple. So I'm going to go for this one. So we can, uh, chances are, we can be happy with less than we think we need to be happy. And, um, you know, we're a nation that's been built on uh, a lot of industry and Income comes from automobiles, but do we really need to drive as much as we do? Do we really need to fly around as much as we do? Or can we be content, happy, inspired, adding less carbon to the atmosphere by traveling? And that's what this social experiment I've been asking myself these four years. What what really is it that makes us happy and increases our happiness? And uh, for me, the answer is a feeling of purpose, connection, joy. So being able to connect with people through these virtual visit live streams the purpose of 
sharing fast, fun, frugal art, hopefully encouraging people to express their creativity and step into their flow for happiness and joy. I'd love to hear from from you guys, you know, what increases your happiness? So anyone that wants to give me feedback on that, I love hearing it. Sweet potato pie. Pardon me? Sweet potato pie. That's what increases your happiness? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so that's subtle, but enough. And now we're going to try um, some of these metallic inks. So let us just get let's see what do we want to do let's go for this subtle pinky Okay, now I have not done this before, so you're seeing it for the first time, just like that pencil. So we'll see what happens. Now that is nearly invisible, so we're going to go for another com color. Let's go for this. Keep our surface clean. Got a little little bit on there. Okay, so now let's go for this brighter. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. But I want a finer brush. Michael said, I think too often we find happiness. When we find happiness, we are never satisfied to just sit back to enjoy. We jump off looking for the next happy thing. Thank you. That's a, uh, a, a very, very wise observation. He continues which I feel is why we as a country have moved too fast in technology and such missing out on enjoying what we have at the moment. I totally agree, Michael. It's um, what I, as a little girl, which was quite a while ago, <laughs> I observed, um, people, you know, running from one thing to a next, to the next, and what I call epidemic lack of contemplative time. And uh, when I was teaching in elementary schools, I'd ask kids to make up a, a story to dance and I'd say nothing off of television or comic books, and they'd all kind of panic. And I'd say, no, inside you, you have all kinds of ideas, and let's find some. And then they'd have 
a lot of fun once they got over the fear of reaching into their own imaginations. You know, we, we can't help it. We want to be accepted and we want to be part of a community, but that can cause us to follow instead of others, instead of follow ourselves. Tigger Taramasu uh, said, good books. I agree with Michael. So many simple pleasures we should be reveling in. Thank you, Tigger. Tigger, Taramasu, I appreciate that too. It's, um, there's, being present is a present we can give ourselves. And slowing down, Bodhi and I just listened to a chant that I sung years ago that was all about moving too fast and um, may, maybe we'll share it on the next live stream. I had a musician friend help me make it into a piece of music, but that's what it was all about is moving so fast. We don't, we don't enjoy what we're doing and, you know, we have ever decreasing attention spans because of all of the choices to switch from one channel to the next, one activity to the next, and we're, we're missing out because the only place we can actually be is in the moment. Okay, that, that worked pretty nice. I'd say that's a, that's a very lovely orchid color. Now we're going to go for some, um, got it on my gloves, which was the reason to wear gloves is not to get anything on the paper and to be able to We're going to leave that one alone and to be able to keep my oil lotion I put on my hands in these dry months. I've heard that in the winter here, it's drier than the desert, which is where I was born. So adjusting to this climate has been a, a wonderful challenge. <laughs> Okay, so that's in the right place. Let's go for some green on this stem with these metallic inks. See how that goes. Not the right brush. There we go. Now we have a brush that has a nice point. My very first, whoops. Okay, so now we have to make that part of the design. the stem a little beefier, but that's all right. My first, my first, um, visual art form was Sumi brushstroke. And with that, mixing the ink, the Sumi ink and the Suzuri stone was very meditative. I have to blow my nose. 
Well, you know, life happens while we're making art. Life is, life is just one blown nose after another these days. I've given her some privacy, I've turned off her camera, uh, so that she can blow her nose with dignity and privacy. I'm Johnny on the spot over here, production manager extraordinaire, I must say. What is my job if not to provide a private space for the star to blow her nose? Uh, my set is a little messy. You'll have to excuse that, guys. There's a lot going on. As you know, as you guys know, because some of you were at my live stream, was that just yesterday? I think it was. I honestly can't keep track. But I'm so glad to see all you guys here. Looks as though she's back at it. All right. Back to you. Thank you for that moment of self-care there yeah this on this subject of running around trying to chase happiness um the more we run trying to chase it the less we feel it the more we settle and appreciate whatever it is that we have the moment the more we feel it so um I, part of the reason I like to share creativity is because it is a settling. It requires us to be here in this very moment. And that is the only place we can be. The rest is an illusion. Thinking about the future, the past, um, Processing and planning is part of life, but dwelling on it takes us out of the moment and takes our ability to enjoy it and use it. In the five blades of grass sumi brush stroke study I did for months, just, just five blades of grass over and over, trying to learn to breathe through the stroke. And each blade of grass, as simple and humble as a blade of grass is, each had their own character, their own feeling, and trying to get five blades of grass to feel un unique unto themselves was a study in presence. Tigger when I Mistu said, I cut out a stencil with my cricket using one of Claire's SVGs last night and it came out so perfect. Thank you. That is, that, that's a, a moment to celebrate that's the first time this vision I had quite a while ago that I did these 300 stencil designs trying to get to this moment thank you Tigger thank you thank you this moment of of sharing the joy of creativity with you um, it makes me so happy I could cry but I don't want to because then it'll be hard to see what I'm doing so no, you've touched my heart. Make sure to check your framing so we can see your beautiful art. Yeah, slide it up a little bit. There you go. And slide it to your left a tad. And she put a bunch of heart emojis. Tigger Tiramisu put a bunch of heart emojis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, 
I have to admit that as much as I love creating myself, I love inspiring, helping other people express their creativity. It's uh, it's a it's a e of equal joy to me. I'm hearing some strange sounds. That's the ambient music coming out of your laptop. No, it's something else. Maybe it's my necklace on this. It's possible. Hey, you guys let me know if we need to turn the music down or anything. Um, I can make some adjustments to the audio. It's like a scraping sound. It's the ambient music coming through your laptop. Oh, okay. I don't really know how to make it so that you it's can right. hear me, but not your music. All right, as long as figuring things out. Well, as long as it's working for the, them, I'm good. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave it there. And uh, for now, and we're going to assess that I like the pink um, orchids with the gold stem very much. I, I like the, the green um, aura around this orchid, but these are uh, the stems, but I, I think this needs more shading. I love the green in the stem here and maybe leaving the gold orchid the same. So I feel like the pencil work needs a little more. I feel like the metallic inks um, work better on this particular idea. So um, I'm going to work on this and share it in the next live stream. Uh, with a little more detailing and there you go. You want to come out and we'll wrap it up. I often stop. I, I don't feel like this is done, but I'm going to stop and, and give it a break, get pers a perspective break, and come back to it later. And um, great. And I may do the same um, enhancement to this outfit between now and Monday noon, my next virtual visit. And you'll see how I finish these and possibly enhance this outfit to give it a little more, little more pop. Um, so meanwhile, stay creative and stay in touch. I really appreciate hearing from you and I hope uh, that you're enjoying your imaginations and creativity and I really want to hear 
what you do with the stencil and I, I love hearing suggestions, questions, ideas. Um, maybe next uh, virtual visit on Monday, you could share what gives you joy, what gives you happiness and peace. And um, we'll keep that subject going. All right. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe and hit the like and tell a friend and all that good stuff. Okay, thanks. See you Monday.